Okay, this is tryptophan synthesis. Mm, the for short TRP operon. Um, uh, the beginning of tryptophan synthesis is um, the releasing of the um, repressor. And um, if it was connected, then the RNA polymerase wouldn't be able to bind to the DNA strand. So since the repressor is released, this is a promoter. The RNA binds to this DNA strand, and um, it begins synthesis like the stages of transcription. Um, these are the three genes coding for tryptophan. And the RNA polymerase just runs along the strand, and as it's running along, it's synthesizing mRNA. And um, these pink lines right here are start and stop codons. It's start codon, stop codon, start codon, stop codon, start codon. And be between these start and stop codons is amino acids. This is amino acid A, amino acid B, amino acid C, and together they can code for the protein tryptophan. Um, and this entire DNA strand is the TRP operon. So um, it's pretty simple. If you stare at it long enough. But um, yeah, it's in 5 to 3 prime. And that's um, the operon. The whole thing is the operon. And the reason it's an operon is because it has an operator repressor, promoter, like all these things together form it. And um, yeah, as it's running along the DNA, what makes the tryptophan? And this is when um, an E. coli bacteria runs out of tryptophan, like say tryptophan is found in lactose, it's a disaccharide. So say I'm not eating any milk, or drinking any milk and the bacteria in my stomach needs tryptophan, it can make it itself. And um, this is what it has. And um, once it has all the tryptophan it needs, this repressor, it gets plugged back into the operator so that no more tryptophan can be synthesized. And um, that sums it up.